In this tutorial I'm going to look at creating some HL7 response messages for the purposes of testing. For this I'm going to use Mirth Connect and I'm going to create a new channel. I will call this HL7 test response and I'm going to go across to the source and I'm going to set that as a TCP listener and it will be on the standard Mirth 6661 channel. As for the destinations, I'm just going to leave the default. Uh, it's going to not matter where it actually goes and I don't actually want it to go anywhere, so that's fine. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to come to the source and I'm going to edit the filter and then for the filter I'm going to add a new rule. And inside here I'm going to create some JavaScript that will return the response that we want. So I just have to drop down the type. Uh, I have some problems with Mirth that always makes me click that several times before it actually works. Uh, but once I've chosen JavaScript, I can now put in the bit of code that we need in order to make this happen. So first of all, I'm going to make it random. So I'm just going to create a variable uh, and it's going to equal math dot random and that will return us a number between 0 and 1 so I'm now going to use that to split up into three different outcomes so I'll just say uh, if d is less than 0.3 and under that scenario we'll do something and then I'm just going to take that bit of code and copy it down two more times and that's going to be a point six and finding an else okay so now we've got our three divisions I'm going to put something in so we can test that out so I'm going to just use the references that come with mirth and I'm going to search for log and I'm going to drop on a log statement and under this scenario we are going to return a res uh, not a response I wanted to uh, reject it this instance I will throw an error and accept on the final one. Okay so let's go and just test that this logic works and we'll go back to the channel and then I will save the channel and deploy the Mirth script. Okay so now I'm going to use HL7 soup to test these messages and so I'm just going to have to configure it to talk to um, Mirth. So I'm going to call this uh, Mirth Connect. And it's going to be on the same computer. So the server is the same. And I'm just going to adjust this to support 6661. And I'm going to be looking at the AA, AE, and AR messages that are returned from Mirth. So this is exactly how I'd like it. And so now I'm going to send off a few test messages. Okay, now you'll see that all of these come back as message rejected, no matter how many times I send it through. Uh, that's because at the moment Mirth is only logging what it happen what it chooses. And if we look inside of Mirth, we can see that we've got a list of reject, error, and accept messages. So that proves our logic is correct. So let's go and actually add the full implementation. So I'm just going to go into the channel, source, edit filter, and let's put the logic into this. So on this instance that we want to reject, we will return a false uh, in the filter. When we want to accept, we are going to return a true to the filter. And when we want to create an error, again I'm going to use the references and just search for the word error. And it's going to give me a set response to status, I'm just going to drag that in place. And it sets the response status to error. So that should be perfect. So now if I go back to my channel, uh, and I'm then going to save it. And 
deploy my channel and then I'll head back to HR7 soup and when we send we should see random message responses coming back of different types so you can see the different colors highlighting the different types of messages so we have gray for the message rejected blue for the accepts and red when an error occurs